Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Raspberry Pi with the headless version of Raspbian and we're going to enable SSH access. So uh, this is going to be the first part of my RESTful Raspberry Pi project. So if you're interested in uh, making a REST web API to control the pins of a Raspberry Pi, well stay tuned for that. So first thing we got to do is download uh, Raspbian. So we're going to get the light version. So this has no desktop. So it's a lot smaller than the desktop version. And since I'm just going to be playing with this Raspberry Pi remotely, well, through my own network here, we don't really need a desktop. Let's unzip this guy. All right, so we have our image here. So next thing we got to do is put this image on a micro SD card for our Raspberry Pi. So you can use whatever you want. You can use DD or your favorite uh, disk writer. I'm going to use uh, the Lean Etcher. So let's select our image here. So and our device. And let's flash this. Okay, so now that it's finished right into the SD card, we need to do one thing before we put it uh, into our Raspberry Pi. So we need to go to the boot partition here, and we need to add an empty file here just called SSH. And that will enable us to use SSH to log into our Raspberry Pi. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure your Raspberry Pi is plugged in. SD cards in and uh, it's plugged into your network. I usually use Ethernet right off the bat to make sure uh, I got a good connection, not to mess around with the wireless stuff. And now we want to find a Raspberry Pi in our network. We're going to want to find out what our network range is, our private network range. So we're going to install Net Tools and then we're going to run ifconfig. So we can see here that I'm on the 24-bit block range here. Uh, another common one is the 16-bit block. So just run app config, see which one you're on. And then we're going to want to run nmap, which is network mapper. And we're going to want to scan our network for devices. I'm going to use mask24 because we're on the 8-bit network there. Sometimes it'll show you the uh, device name, but this is the new device for me. So we're going to log in. So we're going to go SSH. This will be the default username. And the default password is Raspberry. So it's going to prompt us to change our password. So let's go ahead and do that. Raspberry. And then let's type in our new one. So let's see uh, if that worked. So let's log out. And let's try logging in again with our new password. Okay. So that's working. It's kind of annoying typing that in every time. So let's just change to our .ssh folder here. And if you don't have one, you can just make this folder. And we're gonna to wanna to make a config file here. So in this file, we can specify our host names. So we'll call this pi and we'll give it host name, which for me was user is pi. And that's all we need there. And now we should be able to just SSH into Pi without typing in the P address. Oh, should probably type in the right password. Okay, so that's easier. But it'd be nice if we didn't have to type in our password each time. So let's generate some SSH keys. We're going to run SSH key gen. And the file name that we want for our keys is going to just, well, let's just call it Pi. So our keys have been generated there. We can see we have a pi and a pi.public key. So now we're going to want to copy the public key over to our Raspberry Pi. So let's run ssh, copy ID. I want to specify the file, which is going to be pi.pub. And this will be pi at pi. So let's type in our password here. Let's try to get the right password. There we go. So now let's confirm that this works. So let's just try SSH, pi. And there we go. So we're logging in without having to type our password. So that's it. We now have remote access to our Raspberry Pi and we can start developing our RESTful API. So thanks for watching and check out the next video.